This video is inspired by Mr. Steve Ramsden's video, in which he used a real knife to create the effect, but we will do it with CG. I also added a clone moving camera effect, because I don't have any actors nor any cameraman, so I give him a huge thanks for inspiring, and because of his fundamentals, I was able to create this effect. Hello and welcome to this quick overview tutorial of CGI Knife Throw. If you want this Knife 3D model, click the link below in the description. I am hiding all layers so that you may understand the process to create it. You have to align videos like this. The third video is looking connected to the second because of the mask about which I will guide you later. Now we will animate the position and 3D rotation according to the second video. Make sure to click stopwatch and this button to make it 3D. Reduce the opacity so that you can match it perfectly by keyframing, says Pete this frame by frame, until you get the result. I have added directional blur effect so that nobody could recognize the cut. You can clearly see the edge of first video at right side. To avoid this, you have to duplicate the moving shot by pressing Ctrl D. Now mask the wall so that nobody could see the edge. So here is the result. Transform the third video, same as the first. But this time, we will use mask in the same video like this. And hide the mask edge by increasing feather amount. Here is our one take shot. Now we will add CGI knife. You must have Element 3D plugin by Video Coppola to animate knife. Import the downloaded knife from the import button. And then go to environment view. Import a location similar to yours to match lightning. You can increase or decrease these values to match the colors. We can animate the 3D rotation like this.
I've already keyframed the position of knife frame by frame. That is why it is moving. These are rotation keyframes. However, now we have to rotate the knife accordingly to my hand and throw. If you are worried of the hand behind, don't worry, we will deal with it. You can see the number of keyframes I added to animate the position of the knife. Now the knife throw is done. Now our task is to add our hand in front of the knife. So we will have to duplicate the video layer so that we can rotoscope and mask the hand in front. If you don't trust rotoscoping, you can mask spending a lot of time. Well, I trust it, and I had rotoscoped it. Let me remind you that this is just a quick overview, but if you are a beginner, you can search for details on YouTube. If you want to make the cut in knife, you will need to create a mask and animate in the end. Well, we have a good looking shot, but we want some finishing touches and detailing we will get from overlays. This is a dust pan, so it's look realistic. We will get the shadow by creating the solid and masking it at required area. and then decreasing opacity along with increasing mask feather. This is a smoke overlay you can find on the internet. To create this effect you need two videos, each from one end. Now we will mask the above layer Make sure that shadows or any object is not cutting. At last increase the feather so your effect is ready. Boom, our effect is ready.